getting ready for the best night. The best night of my life. Everything's gonna be just right. Putting on a robe that's warm, but light sports sport, best, best. Glug, glug, best, best. Get ready, my Tommy is your nest, cause I'm stepping in the best. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Shut up. When I was 10, all I wanted to be was a wall building guy like my grandpa. He would stack these, uh, you know, they, they go on each other, uh, but never right on top. They'd be like this and this and then here and here. Why are you telling stories? Mm. This is a storytelling event. Are you Mother Goose? Okay, I'm going to continue. Continue boring everyone? Uh, no one's bored. I'm actually pretty bored. Then get the f out! Sir, the bathrooms are located in the back. Why are you taking a dump on stage? <laughs> I'm not bored anymore. I used to be the greatest coach of lumber jerks in the Pacific Northwest till I punched a student in the face. And then I punched another. Got a teensy drinking problem. I've punched every single one of them. Gah, I want to suck your ugly mug so bad I can taste it. But I respect boundaries. I'm not your coach. You're hired. Ooh, uh. Oops, I shouldn't have done that before I did this. When my hair is a-dangling, I've been a-drinking. And now I can do this. <laughs> and back to this. And back and forth. <laughs> Ad infinitum. <laughs> no, no, I'll never tell anyone. Your reputation is safe with me. Hey, fellas, I nailed her. It was so easy. <laughs> Face it, Roger. You're just a hater. You have no real talent. Sure, you know how to tear down, but you can't create. Ah, uh, I can create. My personas? <laughs> Masks, costumes. Wow. You don't have the balls to put yourself out there like me, to risk ridicule contributing something meaningful to the world. This is a brutal takedown. Deep down, you are a coward. What? Yeah, yeah, that, that's not... Guys? Room for one more. Learn how to drive, you bitch! Relax, MC Raw G. Let it go. Are you kidding? Nobody cuts off Biggie Smalls. <laughs> hey, jackass, you want some of this? <laughs> He said he made this for me. Oh, hey, Francine. I just wanted to make sure you were doing okay after Becky's big breakup. Oh, wasn't that so fun? She was devastated. What a great ending to her story. Whenever a character's story arc is over, I vacuum seal their costume and store it in my character closet. One thing they don't tell you about these vacuum pouches is you can save a ton of money by not buying the pump. <sighs> One thing they don't tell you about these vacuum pouches is you can save a ton of money by not buying the pump. Hello? Stan, it's Malcolm Hathaway, hostage negotiator. I just want to talk. I don't have anything to say. <sighs> Get him $50,000 in unmarked bills. Sir, he didn't ask for money. Then make it 500000 I don't think this guy's very good. You know what I'm good at? Cartwheels. Watch. Ah. Oh. No, Francine. He needs a prince. What the hell are you doing? Me? You're the one making a move. I was just napping on this pedestal in the perfect light in my most prettiest dress. Roger, you're in a coma. We're in your brain to help you wake up and bring you home. Home? You mean your home? That's right. Ah, oh, thank God, I hated my apartment. I don't know if you noticed, but it didn't have a bathroom. I won't be getting that security deposit back. Stan, we need to talk. We're here because we love you. I'll go first. Stan, do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go downtown and buy crack? 
You could have bought from me right here in the house. Roger, you're not being helpful. Did you really expect me to be? <laughs> Bravo, Aiden. Looks like everyone's having a fun time. Are you a kid? That'll do, Aiden. What, 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 what did you wait, a whole six years for a bouncy castle? Yeah, try 1600. This should have been my party. Mom! Your mama's dead, boy. I killed her. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, yeah, I, I just, I went too far. That wasn't cool. Uh, this is Steve's fault. He ruined my birthday, and I'm gonna make him pay. All right, I'm gonna go get my face painted and then get the hell out of here. Hey, little man. <laughs> Hello. Roger, you're a jockey? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am a jockey. Davy Jones from the Monkees started out as a jockey, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Hey, my racing form. This is yours? Why the hell just circle your horse? It's a total loser. Oh, I was doing dangerous drugs last night, and I got worried I'd forget which horse I was racing. I know. I have a problem. I worry too much. And don't write! Woohoo! For the first time in 18 years, we have the whole house to ourselves. Just you and me getting to know each other all over again. Well, that sounds great, Francine, but I think you're forgetting about... <laughs> The madman we hide in the attic. He requires our constant attention. Sorry, honey. No alone time for us. Phew, I had to get out of there. It really smelled. I threw up in the shower, and it didn't go down the drain, and now the tub's overflowing, and I want some iced tea, and I know you know I want it now! Eh. Boy, it's a good thing I don't have testes, because there is zero room left in these pants. Go ahead, try and stick your pinky in there. Can't be done. Nope. Not interested? You are in a rough mood. I'm pleased to announce the winner of this year's County Fair Pie Contest. The blue ribbon goes to... Emilou Sugarbean! Who? Oh, my stars! I've been secretly competing with both of you for years. What put me over the top this time? I put fruit and sugar in my pie instead of soggy napkins and gerbil meat. I also made a sizable contribution to Mayor Woodside's mouth. Roger, look what I bought. It's a hamster ball, but I modified it. Uh-huh, that's a thing. Look at them down there planning my birthday party. Yep, I'm turning 1600. The big one six double bagel. I like spying. My fanny is so high in the air right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, damn it! Hey, F-bombs. Roger, I see you're busy, but I was thinking it's time I teach you how to do some stuff on your own. The laundry, cleaning, making your own iced tea. No! I'm so nervous. This is my first soap opera audition. Oh my god, I didn't see you there. You make absolutely no impression at all. Betty B. Getty McClanahan? We're ready for you. Good luck. Oh, oh, you did it again. Darling, I swear, put a bell around your neck or something. Okay, freak show's over. Let's get back to my birthday. Where are you guys going? Come back. Francine, the frosting! Hello, clown dispatcher? Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. I, I, I can't deal with this. What the? My study! And my Turkish bath. Have a fig. You are so dead! Ah! Hold on. You destroyed my study! You barged into my sauna! You know how stressful that is? I had just unclenched my anus. Wait, where are you going? I have to go fold some laundry. Can I come with? Sure. Will you carry me? Aren't you a little big for- I'm sad! Okay, okay. Oh, you're a big boy. I like being carried. 
I'm gonna be Colton Lansington, a renegade space cop who struggles to keep his bipolar disorder in check. Okay, Colton. You just had a busy space day, and now you'd like to cool down with some intergalactic iced tea. Now, you take two scoops of powder. Colton doesn't take orders from nobody! I'm off my meds! Yes, Mr. Shershow, I may have left Sunrise Valley a girl, but I can assure you I return a confident, sexy woman who can shoe a horse and please her man. Yes, we have found our Miss Fiona. My dream has come true. You humble me. I am humbled. Excuse me. Go on, bitches. Show's over. I nailed it. I love dancing barefoot here. I can feel the peanut shells crunch beneath my toes. Hey, that guy pinched my ass. He's gonna eat some dick fist. <laughs> stop it, dick, stop it. That guy didn't really pinch my ass. Dick, this guy just threw a glass at you. Steve, here he comes. Take that, sir. Behold, a grown man weeping like a... <sighs> That? That was your plan? Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying. He hit me with a chair. So, how'd the big night turn out? It was... There's no word to describe it. Schmoobly dong? That's not it, but it's close. L let me try and put it in terms you can understand. Imagine being high at a rusted root concert while two dudes take you on in a sun-baked port john Wow. <laughs> that actually does sound really good. Yeah, I'd like that too.